Hi everyone, my name is Didier Lopes. I'm the co-founder and CEO of OpenBB. OpenBB is building the future workspace for AI-powered investment research. The platform supports teams that are responsible for um, allocating capital, due diligence or investment analysis, teams that require compliance, security, but also collaboration. Think of engineers, data scientists, analytics, and all of those that really support analytics functions. When you come into the product, you'll be landing in this page, which is our data connectors page. This shows where all the data from OpenVB is coming from. You've got the my data, which is every data that I have brought, whether it's a CSV, PDF, image, an API endpoint, a custom backend, a database, it's gonna be shown here. And then you have package data. That is data that OpenVB offers, and you can basically turn it on and off based on the packages that we offer. And in the longer term, we expect to be adding more and more uh, package data by default. But what can you do with this data? Let's, let's see. I'm gonna show you how you can create a new dashboard and currently the dashboard is empty. And in order to add, you basically add widgets to that dashboard, but let's add a template directly so that you have a lot of data in one go. And this is what it looks like. You can see that there's a ton of data uh, in this da dashboard. And there's also these tabs that have been created, which you can actually like fully edit. Um, there's like financials and uh, uh, you can even change the ticker and you'll see that the data renders uh, really fast. As you could see here, uh, if you don't want something in particular, you can just delete it. Um, you have this button here that tells you when was the last data update. So if you want uh, the data to be refreshed, you can just click here. It will do a new request and you have the data uh, up to date. And none of this data is being stored uh, within like OpenVB, which is basically connecting with the uh, backend uh, through uh, an endpoint. Now, let's say that you want to add a new, a new widget. That's really easy. I can do command K. And then let's say that we want to add a dividend uh, payments widget. I can click here. And then you'll see that has been added uh, simply here. So what is a widget? What is this thing that you are seeing on my screen that I can resize and has access to the copilot and I'm bringing to the product? The widget is a combination of three things. You need data, you need a visual to render that data, and then you need metadata, okay? So data could be anything, could be files, structure and structure, could be APIs, could be anything. Visuals is the way it, that data gets rendered in the dashboard format. And then metadata is what you can check by hovering here or by going into the data connectors page and edit this uh, metadata. And basically, so I could come here, I can go into image and this is what is a widget. And I can select a different category, a subcategory, which helps me on the search. I can select a different source and even uh, a different description. And so you can see that if I uh, update this here, let's say that the source is DDA2, I'm going to update it. I'm going back into my dashboard and then I'll over here and you can see that the DDA2 is pointed right here. Okay. And so the idea here is that you always need to have data being rendered in a certain way into the product. So let's say that I have uh, an API endpoint. So something like uh, this one here. You don't want it to see it like this into the product, right? You want to have a nice way to visualize it. And so that's why the concept of widget becomes important. So you can right click into the product and then you can click on add data. In this case, it's an API endpoint. I'm gonna uh, call it historical TVL. I'm gonna paste the link. I'm gonna change the, the metadata. So in this case, I'm gonna say historical, historical TVL with more details if I wanted to add it. A category, I could say that this is actually crypto and I could just call it TVL and then the source, uh, this is DeFi Llama. I test it to make sure it's okay, I add it and now is into the product. And what you can see is now that this becomes officially a widget. It becomes officially a widget, there's the, the metadata, there's the data that has a visualization and you have the, the visual. And so that means that now the OpenVB Copilot has access to this data. And bear in mind that we are not storing this data. This data is a, is a pass through into the product. So you can see last time it was called, but if I click here, it gets recalled again. And then you have all the capabilities of the product, even things like uh, being able to create a chart from, from, from this data or um, anything else, or even clicking here and then you have a chart directly. And that's why the visual part is, is really important. But let's say that you want to bring, for instance, a file. That's also possible. You can add data. You can I can click here and I can add this report. 
which is uh, uploading. It, it goes into our S3. Uh, we suggest a, a title and a description you can change, and then it becomes uh, available into this dashboard and you can uh, change the page. And so there's multiple types of widgets that we uh, allow users to bring. And I showed you the, the API example into a table format. I showed you now the PDF, but you could also um, add one of our um, uh, actually text uh, text widget which is this one and this type of widget for instance it, it has the visual it has the metadata which is just note but it doesn't have content but you could add it so you could say uh, investment thesis on apple and you could say this is my section one it's basically markdown and then you can have bullet point one bullet point two um, and then basically you can go into settings and you can say investment uh, thesis on Apple and then here you get the idea so once you save it's basically you see that the metadata was saved and it becomes accessible on the copilot so you can ask questions and you have uh, all of this flexibility and the, the the only thing here that we do is we we uh, store these data the um, the PDF and the, every time the static files or there's text we store it in s3 bucket currently on OpenVB and we but for customers what we do is if they want to uh, store the data on their own servers we can help them uh, set that connection within their own like s3 buckets in a way that is uh, secure and safe let's say that you have your data on a snowflake or mysql sqlite you will likely want to have access to that data within openbb and so we make that accessible to you in a way that is very very easy so you can say add selection, add connection, uh, go into databases. Um, in this case, I'm gonna select Snowflake. I'm gonna add my username. I'm going to add my password and I'm going to add my account. I click next. In this case, I already have the SQL query, which I copied, but first I'm gonna add a name. So I'm gonna call it crimes. I'm gonna call it analytics user, my role, the analytics one, and then I need to select which database I'm going to use, the statistics one, and then I can put the SQL query that I already have here. As I mentioned before, it's uh, um, recommended that you have some metadata. So in this case, I'm going to put it into economy and in the crime category, and the description is uh, number um, of incidents is already uh, here selected. And then I click add, and that becomes automatically accessible on my dashboard. So that means that you can have someone on your team that already has all of these queries done. But the, the benefit for, from your point of view is that you can just call for the widget now crimes going forward and you'll have access to that data. And we even allow you to create some dynamic parameters so that you can interact with your data on your database faster. So uh, in this case, let's say that you click here on the SQL uh, icon, you have here the entire query that I've just used, and you will have here uh, um, some information about the dynamic parameters. In this case, I'm going to add it. So I'm going to add this parameter is going to be my postal code, actually not my postal code, this is San Francisco, but basically what this allows me to do is to do here one and I save it. And now the benefit is that this entire query is going to run based on the parameter that is here. So if you change that postal code, it's going to work. So let's do uh, 02. Let's hope that this works. Perfect. And we are now looking at the uh, 94102 postal code uh, data, and then you have all the normal capabilities of the product. So this is a good way for if you already have your data on Databricks, AWS, GCP, Azure, to connect all of it into OpenVB and have your team that is doing research, uh, uh, analysis, due diligence, being able to access all of it from one place. Let's say that you uh, want more control over the data that you bring into the product. That's not a problem. We have open sourced the way we uh, enable users to uh, connect any type of data into the product. And there's this repository that's called Backend for Terminal Pro. And there's here a few examples that you have connections with Superbase, MindsDB, Elasticsearch, ClickHouse, ArcticDB. And you can even bring like Plotly shards, like data, and it gives you full control. All you need is that the, to know is about this widgets.json uh, file, which basically sets the specification so that our product knows how to uh, interpret this data. And so when you come into the, the product here, 
and uh, let's say you want to bring your own data you do the same thing you go into add data and in this case you just click on custom backend and it will have a name it will have a url and then you are able to add it and so what our team was able to build it was they were able to connect to create a backend from our open source repository, which has almost 30,000 GitHub stars and integrate all of those data endpoints into our product. And so now if I go into our uh, data connectors, I have OpenVV platform here and you can scroll and you have access to a ton of data that is uh, uh, coming through my machine using my own API keys for these data vendors and then rendering it in Pro. And so if I click here on the uh, Orchid Admiral, I can look for it and let's say that I'm going to do Fred series, for instance, I can click on this one here and then as a rep, we're going to use unemployment rate and you'll see that I have access to that data that I am running locally on my machine and in this case is using um, OpenBB uh, platform, the one with almost uh, 30,000 uh, GitHub stops, stars. And the nice part about it is that it means that you can bring any type of data. And so recently, the most uh, uh, interesting case that we built for a customer was a Gmail integration. And now we're also in the discussion of, of discussing like data widgets so they can ma manage their uh, fleets, uh, their ports, and also their um, dry uh, bulk commodities cargo uh, uh, that they ship around the world. They are a, a public shipping, shipping company. So it's been a, a very interesting like use case, but um, we're always happy to create more more widgets to basically render the data in a better way for uh, our customers.